Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey. It's my wife. Um, good morning. This is day nine of our IVF process. Um, okay. So, I want to give some clarity to the videos and explain some clarity that we got going through this process, like getting the ultrasounds, exactly what it is, how it's operating now. But first things first, I do want to point out these spinning waves here. They're spinning, right? Right? Ah. Okay. But, okay, back, back, back to baby talk. Um, okay. So, as you can probably see, and if you don't see, um, if you pay attention to our hashtags, we're going through IVF, which is in vitro fertilization, um, which it, and we're going through the phase of IVF where they actually implant um, the egg as an embryo. So that means it's fertilized outside of each one of our bodies, my body, my wife's body. Um, they add sperm the, to, to the egg they fertilize the egg and then they, they insert the egg back in. Um, we're also transgender. So um, originally I was born a female and I transitioned to a male and my wife was born male and she transitioned into a female. So I would actually be the baby carrier, okay? Um, so this is clearing up some of the questions or comments, you know what I mean, that I've had um in the past few days um we're going now this is clarity that i got i recently got um we're going to get these ultrasounds because they are actually monitoring and measuring my follicles um now the follicles are what to my knowledge this is like a, a quick anatomy the follicles are are what actually holds the eggs as they mature before they release, you know, and go up the tubes, you know what I mean, and come out to make a baby. So, um, they, they want the measurements to be between 16 and 22 millimeters. Um, so the ultrasounds that I'm going to like every three days or so, is just measuring each and every follicle is recording it. It's a little time consuming. You know what I mean? You'll be, she'll be in there measuring up to like 30 minutes just based off of, you know, how many you have. Um, in my scenario, I have a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm in there for a little bit. Um, and one of the things I do want to say is that this is all based off of this is a very individual thing. Like, you know, um, everybody's body doesn't respond the same. Um, everybody doesn't have the same starting point, okay? Um, in a later video, I'll explain to you guys um, exactly why we chose to do IVF, okay? Um, so everybody has a, a different point, okay? So starting point. So with that being said, my starting point was actually very good. Um, now, I'm on a series of shots um, that I take every morning. I take one every morning and I take right now two every night. I'm going to be honest with you guys there. At, at, I'm at day nine. I just took my morning shot. And guys, it's, it's, wearing, it's wearing on me. Now, I'm going to tell you, you have to be a strong person to finish this cycle and do this. <laughs> because you what I tell you you are pig cushion supreme I'm like pig cushion supreme every day I get stabbed every day like I at least get stabbed three times a day but then when I go do ultrasounds I always gotta give blood work so then I get stabbed then too so it's like oh gosh and then you're like I gotta stay extremely hydrated matter of fact babe, can I have my bottle of water like I, I, I drink nothing I drink lots of water my advice to you guys is drink lots and lots of water um, because you're going to need it because they're not shy. They stick that big old wand. Watch the other videos. That thing goes right. Don't be dry. I mean, they put something on it, but you know, you always need a little bit of your natural something. Like, you know what I mean? Don't be dry. Don't be dry.
<laughs> when they out there sucking that blood out and you start being dehydrated, they have a hard time finding the veins. I only want you to stick me one time, ma'am, because I, I'm still going to get stick, stuck at least two other times today. Like, you know what I mean? Um, is side effects of the shots so far that I experienced is like, um, like you, you have that pre-menstrual cycle feeling. Um, it's not as intense, but that's what I would describe it as. Um, I sleep a lot. I sleep a lot. Um, I sleep a lot um, from taking these shots. And I don't know if it's because I just have to mentally recharge. Like, because initially, like, I'm like, I'm taking these like a champ. And, and, but I can see by like day 14, we're like, oh God. <laughs> like, I can see that. So I'm, I'm being honest. Like, you have to be mentally strong to do it. Because it doesn't seem like a lot And especially being transgender guys I'm like oh take a shot uh, 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 uh. No That was real <laughs> This shit's real <laughs> Totally different scenario You know what I mean Because I even I take them you take, you take them initially all in like your abdomen area Okay So You then transition um, To like Taking them in your butt and all that um so but you are pit cushioned up so but other than that you know what i mean the experience is great it's a it's a lot mentally you know what i mean because you're getting you're getting the stab you're getting the and you and nobody's like yay needles nobody's like that i mean maybe somebody is but i about that somebody you know what i mean so it doesn't work um what helps me out i'm gonna tell you guys what helps me out the most is my wife like, you know what I mean? She's definitely, like, a thousand percent present. She gives me all my needles. You know what I mean? She lets me take these naps after I take them, like, uh. And she just lets me go down. You know what I mean? She's not, you know, um, she's not blowing my shit, y'all. She's, like, very supportive. So I thank her all the time for it. She is definitely more caring. Like, you know what I mean? And being very nurturing towards me. Um, because I think... I, babe, can you see it beginning to drain, like drain me a little bit? I see it draining you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all, I'm not snapping about it or anything, and my babe, I'm not snapping about it or nothing. No, not yet. I'm not going to at all. Like, you know what I mean? But it, it's it. The potential is there. Like, if you're not mentally strong enough to do it, you the potential is there. Um. Because your estrogen, my estrogen right now is extremely high. It's like in the 800s. You know what I mean? Um, so, I do have moments where I just sit up and be like, I'm about to cry. And I just get to crying. Like, you know. Um, <laughs> my wife laugh at me. I laugh at it too because it's like just so random. You know what I mean? That's happened about, like, two or three times. Um, I do get, like, angry, but being on testosterone, estrogen angry is nothing. Like, you know what I mean? So I can actually manage that a little bit better. And even if I might start stinging, I'm not hitting as hard as I want to. Trust me. Like, you know, with the situation verbally, you know? So, but, so that, that works in my benefit. Um... You're able to control the, the the snappy side a lot better than the the tear side, and I mean that's for me, you know what I mean? Because being on testosterone, you gotta control that angry side, you know. I'm um, initially when you start and stuff, um, so that's like a walk in the park. It's more of the like I'm just randomly sitting up, like I'm about to cry, and then it just takes over. It happens for like a good five minutes, and then I'm like good afterwards, like all right. La la la. Well, have a good laugh and everything, and then life goes back tomorrow. <laughs> it is, but that's kind of like an update. What's been going on um, from day six to nine? Things that I found out. Um, things that I want to be a little more clear about. Um, I definitely want to thank everybody right now for watching our videos, watching our journeys, um, leaving comments, asking questions, um, everything. 
uh, subscribing. So I don't know why y'all not subscribing. Oh, by the way, this is my th this. Okay, guys, this is the shop bag because I just took my shots this morning. This is the shop bag, and it is filled. Like, and I've been taking them for nine days. So get into it. It it's for real. You know, like, you know what I mean? But like I said, hit the subscribe, like, right, babe? Like, hit like, yeah, like and subscribe. comment, subscribe. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll give you an update when we go to this appointment for the ultrasound. I'm actually very excited um, because hopefully we're close to the egg retrieval part. Even though I don't, I'm nervous about that part because I don't want to get knocked out. So FYI, when it's egg retrieval time, you get sedated. How sedated? I don't know because they didn't sedate me yet. But I know it's pretty sedated and I don't like being sedated. But again, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you next time. Later. See y'all for Lady Cam.